Welcome to the Department of Commerce Electronic Certificate of Origin System. In this video, I will demonstrate two more additional actions that can be performed on an issued Certificate of Origin for both non-spices and spices, which is cancellation and duplication of certificates. In this video, I will be using a Certificate of Origin non-spices for the purpose of demonstration. But please do note that the process of cancellation and duplication are identical for both Certificates of Origin for spices as well as non-spices. There can be a multitude of reasons for wanting to cancel the Certificate of Origin and apply for a new one. If there are any amendments that need to be placed on your Certificate, for an example if the exchange rate or some other input within your Certificate of Origin has gotten changed, you can cancel your currently using Certificate of Origin and apply for a new one. In order to do so, click on the cross mark on the action column. I am now prompted to specify a cancellation reason. Pressing submit will direct me to the certificate of origin application page. But this time around, the application looks a bit different as it will specify the ECO number of the certificate I wanted to cancel along with the cancellation reason. Proceed to fill out the details of your new Certificate of Origin. If any advice is needed on how to fill the Certificate of Origin application, go ahead and watch the previous videos on applying for a COO or CEO spices in this series or refer to our user manuals. I will now fast forward a bit while I finish submitting my new application details. Once finished, press submit, which will send the new certificate of origin along with your cancellation request to the Department of Commerce for approval. You will receive an email such as this specifying your cancellation reason, details of the certificate of origin that just got cancelled along with the details of the new certificate of origin that you applied to. The Department of Commerce will first review your cancellation request and you will receive an email such as this if your cancellation request has gotten approved. Since your cancellation request has gotten approved, the Department of Commerce will now begin to process your newly applied Certificate of Origin. Now if we go to the Certificate of Origin table, you can see that the certificate you submitted a cancellation request with now has a status cancelled and the new certificate you applied with along with the cancellation request has the status pending. The new certificate of origin you submitted will go through the normal process where the Department of Commerce will reveal the certificate at which point you can make the necessary payments, place your signatures and bring the certificate to the Department of Commerce to finalize the certificate application process. Watch the previous videos on the certificates of origin spices as well as certificates of origin for non-spices for a detailed look into this exact process. This completes the process for cancellation of certificates of origin. Now I will demonstrate the other action that can be performed on certificates, which is certificate duplication. There can be a multitude of reasons for wanting to duplicate your certificate, of which the main reason being the loss or damage of your certificate of origin, which was signed by the Department of Commerce. In this case, you may click the plus icon on the table to request for a certificate duplication. Specify the reason for wanting a duplication and hit submit. At this point, you will receive an email confirming the submission of your duplication request, which will then be sent to the review of the Department of Commerce. If the Department of Commerce approves your duplication request, you will receive an email such as this confirming your duplication request approval. Now going back to the Certificates of Origin table, you can see that your old certificate has its status changed to duplicated. And a new Certificate of Origin has been generated for you. This new certificate has the same details as the certificate you requested duplication for. If we go to the original and the office copies, you can see that the details of the two certificates are identical. Now proceed to make the payments with the new certificate to remove its watermark 
and get the authorized person to sign the certificate of origin and bring in the certificate to be signed by the Department of Commerce, similar to a regular certificate flow. This concludes the additional actions that can be performed on certificates of origin non-spices as well as certificates of origin for spices. Thank you for watching.